Yo, what is good, YouTube? And welcome back to another JC2K video. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about predicting the season two rewards in NBA 2K24. My team will find out a lot about the rewards on Wednesday, I'm assuming, when they will probably drop a season update blog like they did last year on Wednesdays before the new season. They drop a uh, info on the new season, basically, that's upcoming. I assume that'll happen on Wednesday. And if not, we'll find everything out on Friday regardless. But I want to give you all my predictions and some thoughts on who I think could be contenders for some of these spots uh, or some of these things on this um in season two so before we happen to the video if you haven't already make sure you hit that subscribe button help me push towards the 14,000 subscriber mark on the channel i upload every single day and i would really appreciate it if y'all do subscribe without further ado let's hop right into it the first thing i want to talk about is ascension i think ascension is something that people just don't care very much about i don't remember anybody really getting all that excited about tim hardaway he's not a terrible card i but i legitimately don't remember if i got him I did not get him. I've used him, I know, like once or twice, but I have not gotten Tim Hardaway myself on my account. I really don't care. He wasn't that exciting. I think Ascension Season 2 will also be somebody who's not that exciting, but also probably kind of decent uh, at the beginning of the season. It's probably going to be like an 89 overall Richard Lewis, maybe an Amethyst 90 overall Richard Lewis. Something like that is what I'm going with, though. He's a 6'10 guy. He's going to have a good size. He's going to be a good pick and pop power forward option. Not great small to small forward, but not terrible. He'll probably be okay, like a slightly better Lamar Odom or about the same as Lamar Odom. So he'd be okay if we got something like that but that's who i'm predicting um in terms of the token player i don't expect a super exciting token player we got tom gugliotta and then we got a couple others we got Darrell griffith and franz wagner as well in season one i'm just going to predict the top reward i think we get an amethyst marquise johnson like a 91 overall marquise johnson would make sense to me uh he's a six foot seven shooting guard super athletic play for the bucks tends to get a lot of cards and stuff occasionally some reward cards and stuff he's a guy kind of like gugliotta who was a good player at his peak but is not a super popular big name and probably would fit in pretty well as something along these lines because i don't expect this this to be too many big name super juice rewards in the token market at least from what we can tell so far um, with that being said next we have salary cap salary cap player the guy that i actually think would be really interesting as an end of season salary cap reward who i have not gotten yet by the way i need to get a little depot but um i'm not going to talk about the individual rubies we'll find out who those are throughout the seasons or maybe those will be amethyst now we'll see i think all the motor rewards will probably be amethysts now so that means these rubies probably will be as well for salary cap but um I think the final reward will be like a 91 or maybe at best a 92 overall diamond. Um, I, I might be because the end of the season, I think it's going to be a 92 overall diamond. And I think it's going to be Mikhail Bridges. That's what I'm predicting. I think it'll be a good player, kind of like Victor Oladipo, who is a legitimately good point guard option and is ending the season as a top five option at his position. Probably. I think Mikhail Bridges will be available towards the end of the season and season two will be a top five small forward in the game. He's a guy who would make a lot of sense because the salary cap reward, the, the ultimate reward is probably going to be at least a decent card most seasons because it is a decent grind to get the card so i think mikhail bridges would be an awesome option in salary cap triple that offline season one was alonzo morning i don't expect to go back to a center i do expect it'll probably be another decent card though triple that online offline even though i don't like the the mode all that much is pretty popular i feel like a lot of offline players play a lot of triple that offline generally the reward is actually pretty decent and i expect it'll be okay as well a guy like drew holiday and amethyst drew holiday 90 or 91 overall i think it'd be pretty solid uh and that's a guy i think six foot four point guard really good free solid option he's not going to be the best card in his position but he's going to be decent and i think that'd be an interesting card Triple Threat Online was not good in Season 1. I'm hoping to see it improve in Season 2. Uh, although, when they dropped Chris Bosh as a Triple Threat Online reward, that was pretty great. He was really the true Triple Threat Online reward for this season. But, David Wesley, not an exciting card. Um, with that being said, he's not a... I mean, he, he wasn't good, I'll be honest. I do expect, hopefully, a slightly better option in Season 2. The guy that I'm predicting is Moses Malone. Uh, I know that's a decently big name, but he's not a guy who sells a lot of packs. I don't think that's a card people get super excited about. He would make sense to me as a Triple Threat Online reward. I think he'd be a decent option. I will say, if any of these guys have gotten player reward cards in the past that I'm forgetting about, or specifically in, this, in the same mode that I'm predicting them in, I do apologize. I don't think anybody has ever gotten a card that I'm predicting in these modes uh, for them to get for them to get those cards but it could be possible um, clutch time off lines another older player who i think would be interesting wally zerbiak was not good i think a larry nance card would be slightly better that's a 610 guy who might be able to defend really well at small forward could provide you a lot of size and interesting versatility with an athletic defensive small forward may not be a great shooter but an amethyst larry nance would be at least an interesting card i think he could be a pretty good option in clutch time as another guy who's not a big pack seller but could be a decent option for a reward card uh, clutch time online 
I'm trying to read my own handwriting because I'm forgetting who I wrote. Ah, yes, Kyle Kuzma. Kyle Kuzma would be interesting, man. Bruce Bowen was a dog. He might actually be the best player reward card from any of the mode rewards in this season besides Oladipo, who was uh, kind of a, a bigger reward, I would guess. Uh, I would say not just an individual mode reward, but uh, a little bit of a, more of a grind. But... Bowen is legitimately good, and I honestly think that Kyle Kuzma would be an awesome card as well. I think he'd be a really nice offensive wing. Uh, a guy you could play as a small ball forward, be elite in the pick and pop, or kind of a bigger small forward, maybe not as elite defensively, but amazing offensively with a great release. I think he'd be a really good card. Co-op, I don't expect to be a good card. I just don't ex get excited by the co-op mode personally. I don't think 2K sees the co-op mode as a mode to put top tier rewards in at least not from my experience and not from what i've seen in the past year and what i expect to see in the future while it's a mode that a lot of people do enjoy playing with their friends i definitely think it's a mode where the reward's not going to probably be the best and a guy who i'm projecting is a guy like jojo white he's a 6-4 pg but he's not going to be great on either end of the court probably a pretty mediocre amethyst card would be my guess uh hoping for a good unlimited reward and the guy that i'm actually predicting kind of in line with julius randall it's another free player and it's actually another power forward center which may not be super likely but evan mobley I don't think Evan Mobley has ever been a player reward card for any mode or any level up or anything like that. And he's a guy who is really blossoming into a very good player in Cleveland and has the potential to be a great 2K card as well. Pretty athletic, going to have decent speed, be a very good defender and at least a semi-capable shooter. And Amethyst Evan Mobley could be a really, really good free center option. And that's a card that I'd be super intrigued by. I think would be a great unlimited reward. Uh, level 40. I'm going to just honestly go with a big a big name because Kyrie was a pretty big name. I mean, level 40, I think we can expect this year, is probably going to be really, really good cards every season. I don't expect a lot of letdown level 40s because you can buy your way to level 40 this year. So it makes 2K more money if the level 40 card is good and people feel incentivized to buy their way to him. Just like Kyrie was by far the best point guard in the game on day one, it was an absolute blast to use and an elite level 40 card. A Paul George would be an incredible level 40. He doesn't even have to be a shooting guard small forward. A small forward, power forward Paul George would be absolutely phenomenal in my team. A card that I think would get a ton of people excited as a shot creator who's super athletic but also has pretty fun animations, has a good release, defends very, very well, just does a lot of things really well. He'd be an all-around elite small forward. A 94 overall, Paul George would be an absolutely phenomenal season two level 40 in my opinion that a lot of people would buy too. He's a guy who I think would make a lot of sense. Uh, the ultimate reward i think this one might be a tiny bit of a stretch i'm not gonna lie and the reason that i say that is because number one one of the biggest lock and rewards last season was shaq so i'm not sure the ultimate reward will be a sinner but it might be because shaq was a while ago i'm not sure that means that much uh and i think they might there might be a new replacement to shaq coming pretty soon and that man the ultimate reward I think it could be David Robinson. I know he has been a low 40 in the past, and that makes me think that maybe he's not going to be an ultimate reward because they have done him as a low 40 in the past, and 2K hasn't repeated those. But it's not actually a low 40 reward. It would be a different reward. Uh, it's also possible it could be another big man, but I think David Robinson makes the most sense. Like a Kristaps Porzingis would be an amazing card, but I don't think he's the superstar caliber of player that they might be looking for. Although I will say that, and they added Brandon Roy as the ultimate reward in season one. And it's not like he was a true NBA superstar. I mean, he was very good at his peak, but injuries prevented him from passing having the elite level long-term career that I think he could have potentially had. But a uh, Christos Porzingis would make sense as well. And I think he's also a possibility, although that would be like best case scenario. A grindable Christos Porzingis would be unbelievable uh, if that was a card that we got. I don't super much expect that, but I'm hoping again that the ultimate reward, because he is the best grindable reward of the season, or at least is supposed to be, and Brandon Roy was in season one, still the best shooting guard in the game. You would hope that the Season 2 card is going to be the best player at his position in the game and hopefully be, be at least be one of the best two players at his position throughout the whole season. That's what you really want for both the level 40 and the ultimate reward so you feel rewarded for grinding for the the main goals of the season. And I think a guy like a David Robinson or Chris Stapp Porzingis would accomplish exactly that. One other player that I will mention, the last player in this video, is going to be the Pro Pass, pro pass player. I can't speak... And I think the Pro Pass player is probably going to be a 91 overall Amethyst would be my guess, maybe a 90 overall. But I think it's going to be Shea Gilgis Alexander, and I think it's going to be a Shea who is point guard eligible. I just think the Pro Pass player, again, is designed to incentivize people to spend money because people are not going to spend as much money on the Pro Pass or be as likely to spend to buy the Pro Pass if, uh, or the Hall of Fame Pass, I guess, if the player award isn't great. Like Giannis in season one is an awesome big name card that got a lot of people excited to get a guaranteed Giannis, and he's still a great card even at the end of the season so again 
uh, would like it to, to be a good card, just like season one. And I think an Amethyst Shea Gilders Alexander would be one of the top three or four point guards in the game because he's got capable size and a very good release. And just to be a really good all around card, plus a big point guard in my team. So overall, I think he would be a super interesting option as the Pro Pass card. And that is my predictions for the season two rewards. Let me know what y'all are thinking about season two. If there's any players y'all are excited to see and who you think the level 40 and ultimate rewards are going to be in season two. And if you do enjoy the video, make sure you hit that like button, leave a comment and subscribe. I'll be back with more 2K content very, very soon. And I appreciate y'all. Peace.